I'm April, I'm the suitcase designer. I help people turn chaos and clutter into functional spaces they love. I'm an expat, but this year I've been living in the States. You've seen me working in my in-laws 100 year old home, but now for my final USA project, I'm going home. In this series, I'll be doing some extreme decluttering and organizing in the house where I was born, helping my parents in the small town of San Angelo, Texas. And today we're starting in the living room and the kitchen. And really quick, if you have been a long-term watcher of this series, if you wouldn't mind hitting the like button for this episode and all of the episodes, if you watch them, um, it goes so far in letting YouTube know that it's a good video and that they should promote it more. Since the last episode, we have actually taken off one day in between, which is something huge I've taken away from this declutter, and that's you're crazy. If you're trying to do this straight through within a week and a half time period, you're gonna drive yourself crazy and you're gonna be exhausted, and that's exactly how we felt. So we took a day off in between. We still did stuff, but we just, we didn't do any of the decluttering, anything like that. And we woke up this morning, we feel so much better, and now we have energy to like really push through because we don't have many days left of this declutter. See, I already have more energy because I got to sleep. My mom's on the phone, hold on. We have a lot of projects to tackle today because I'm leaving very soon and we're not done yet. For today's episode, we were really focusing on the living room and the kitchen. This is definitely as far as we're going to get in their house. My mom has said she feels more prepared for taking on the rest of the house because now she's in the mood, she's retired and she has more time to do it and she is ready to tackle it and create change in her house we have so much to do so we really have to get started and the game plan is to actually start in the living room area first before we tear apart this closet because we also just like need a really quick win okay um this lamp we are going to move to the new craft room aka the depression room it's gonna go in there oh okay and now we have a space over there where we can leave all of the frames. If you take anything from this suitcase designer at all, follow the steps in order. Clean, declutter, organize, design. I swear it works. It will absolutely change the end result of your space. So if you're buying something, you know, big system for organizing closets or cabinets or whatever it is, before you finish those phases, you might realize down the road after you finally declutter and organize that you don't need them in the first place or you actually need something else entirely. So just save yourself time and money and just wait. I know it's hard to wait, but just be patient. Finish the declutter and organizing first and then buy what you need for designing or closets for storage or anything like that. Wait till the end. I think it's a lot easier to think about the last step, which is the Designing. Design. And buying, because... <laughs> Buying's fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that wasn't what I was gonna say, but yeah. I, but it's easy to run away from the hard stuff that's decluttering that's and minimizing. Point. Especially and, when it's emotional, when you have stuff from your family handed down. Yeah. Yeah. Mom, in here we're doing the Southwest theme, right? Any stuff for like the ocean theme, we're gonna try and put that in these other rooms, so that's something that we're also thinking about. These. You those guys handy. Yeah, we, use? I like those. Lot. Okay. Yeah, we use those for... Do we have a... Wait, wait we do have a box. Mm -hmm. Let me go get it back here. It'll be our... Um, this is going to be our Southwest design box. Everything we want to keep, we'll put in here. So they like these. Mom, do you love this rock? Yeah, sure. I'll just give me that. Okay. I like the color of Um, What about this vase? Do you love it? I don't this? love it, but we need something to... Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna work on that okay. so later. So no, I don't love this. We don't like that, no, right? I love I, it. So. But I do like okay. the Southwest. The, that one. That'll be this one's perfect. Pretty, These you you yeah, love, right? Yeah, okay. Yeah, everything that's. I don't want to move those because those are more yeah. breakable. Yeah. But these. Yeah, we love. use that a lot. When we move those, we move okay. that one around. Actually, I have an idea. Instead of putting your Southwest in a box, I'm gonna store it all under here that's because it's easy to cover. That this is the declutter box now. Yeah. <laughs> Changing. That, that blue thing can go in 
either direction, southwest or... Yeah, it uh, might be good in your craft room with the big colors. Yeah. So okay, giant toothy. It's, it's nice not a tooth, there. but I love it. it. It's an earphone holder. It. Oh, okay. Dad uses it. We use These it. coasters, do we need all of the coasters? Mm -hmm. Let's get rid of those. What's this tiny thing? Oh, up here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Up here, I'm just gonna kind of start stacking stuff. What is this? That I'm not sure if that even works. Okay. They have Apple TV? I don't know. There's so many remotes. I'll just leave those in there. Leave them in there for now. Let's stack that just for this now. Is the dolphin oh yeah, Stand. that's pretty. Yeah. Oh, that would go great in the bathroom. That's here's perfect in the bathroom. Can we get rid of this picture? Please, please, let's get rid of that. Um, Mom, does this work? Yeah, Dad uses that. Okay. Just... Need this little chain? Uh, I that put it on the pantry room. That's Dad's. Be careful, the Coca Pellies. Uh, What's a Coca Pellie? Glass thing. This it's very breakable. Okay. I think this would be good in the kitchen. Do you love this? Yes. Do you love this? That might be handy over here. Okay. So keep it. What about this giant vase? Uh, I'm not loving it. That's in the studio. Might be able to put them underneath there to cover the oh. cables. Okay. No, I don't love that vase. Tissue. No, What's kind of this thing? Cool. That's my the nails. It can okay. go in this. Uh, Your little basket? Okay. It's a book. That's just for That's the lamp the right now, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. We're going to move this guy, because it's very bulky right as you walk in the door, over here. This was a chest from, this is from 1978. Oh, what is that? Guest book. Oh, there's some. Oh, but you don't want, okay, it's easier. It's bulkier and better down there. Could we put <clears throat> that tall coffee table by the chair? Could we swap it for one of, for these double sets here? Mm -hmm. It's pillows within pillows. This is pretty. I like this one. Well, they're scratchy. Okay, so those are the old ones. Oh, that's yeah, cute. Those are the old but they're ones. too they're scratchy. To There's three pillows in here. <laughs> oh, that might be why it's so hard. This one's not too bad. What about the bird? I use both of those small, smaller ones. Okay, let me go get the other pillows real fast. These are all of the different pillows we found. We've been storing them in the back room. These are the two pillows I brought down. You guys saw me pack, so I think this one should fit in here. You know, whenever you guys go to Ikea, look at their cushions because I feel like Target and those places make such cute pillows, but they're so wasteful because you can't take the cushions off and usually they don't sell just the covers. I wish that those yeah. businesses did a better job of just making yeah. covers and having one Usable. pillow. Yeah, I agree. Because and you can wash them because if you get spilled, yeah, you it's yeah, you're right. They're they just last you so much longer. Look how much better that looks. Which one looks more inviting on your sofa? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Does it have a zip off? No. See, I don't know why businesses sell these when you can't take the cover out. I mean, it's probably to make more money because then people have to come back and buy all new pillows. But it's just. It's a waste of money for people and it's really a waste of space. Okay, yeah, let's decide what okay, pillows yeah, we want to do. Real fast. Let's start with function first. We've got those two pillows. Got, my back pillow. got your back pillow. We got that pillow. I like, I like that. Long and skinny. There's a down insert in here. I think they're too big for this sofa. So these will go to the guest, yeah. guest bedroom. Now it's just really decorative pillows, mm -hmm. right? Okay, so could we move this somewhere else? Side. Uh, anniversary Indian. Now Why don't we hang it? Got bars and then, yeah, you hung it, or next to the TV. Do, 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 do. Because we removed this from the back, I think it was competing with all the other patterns, so you didn't even notice it. It was yeah. just like, oh, it's a lot of visual clutter. We're gonna hang this so that they actually really enjoy it and see it. This is the dog blanket here, so it has to stay.
pillow declutter. These two are going to go on the bed in the guest okay. room. Do we need two on the guest bed or just one? Just one. Okay, let's My battery died um, we just went ahead and sorted through some photos and then I we went ahead and pulling pulled out everything from the closet and we actually added some of my dad's jackets um, from his closet so we added all of those to the closet and now I'm gonna try and put it all back Have that when I was a baby. Mm -hmm.
It's getting late into the night now. My ears are burning because I am anxious and ready to be done with this. Now, I hate when stuff is spread out in multiple areas. Just bring it all to the same area. It makes life easier for you because you know exactly where they're going to be. It's easier for anyone that comes into your house because things are where you would expect they would be. For example, mugs have been, we've been collecting them throughout this whole thing. And the whole time I've been here, I've been wondering every morning, what mugs? do I use? Put them all in the same spot. I'm gonna try and clear them all out of that extra hutch that they have because there's no reason they should be in two spaces and there's no reason that people need that many mugs. I'm gonna try and convince them. How are you gonna use this whenever it's hiding behind on the food? You know what I'm saying? Mm, I need a table, there's no space left. We're definitely making a mess. And the food I'm just gonna roughly organize, unfortunately the organizers we ordered for the food will not be here until Sunday. So we're gonna have to wait to kind of do this. So I'll just roughly organize it. And we'll put it in bins later. One quick thing that's gonna help like open bookshelves or open shelving when there's a lot of things in there is to make sure all of your shelves are level. If they're altering levels, then it's just gonna make it look like super crazy. So you can kind of calm the crazy by making the shelves the same height. But I know that that's intentional for them because they have stuff in there that's only that height. So we're gonna organize it in a way that accommodates for all of the food. Okay, well, I'm doing this. Do you want to just go through the ones that you, the mugs that you don't want? And, okay, perfect.
There's more mugs, more. I'm gonna clear this out and I'll show you when we're done. I still have a little bit of a mess to do later, but. For the most part, this is just going to have to be done because we're really out of time for these projects. A lot better. Uh, we'll come back and work on that later. And then in here, I didn't film this, so I just wanted to show you what I did because we're so tired and we just want to be done. So I just kind of organized these into themes. They said they use everything, so I'm just going to leave it like that and try and make it look a little bit nicer. I'm hoping she can go through and she'll have time to organize this later, but we just don't have any more time for that. And then we got this, so at least it's better. Sometimes when you're decluttering, you just have to let people go through it once and then they get in the mood and hopefully they kind of go through it again, especially after they feel like it's more manageable. That's kind of all the time we have for in the kitchen. We'll clean up that mess tomorrow, probably just off camera. And here is a look at the declutter pile for today so much these are organizers that we've collected so we're gonna try and consolidate this and add it to the closet as she gets back to her closet by herself and hopefully she'll be able to use some of this if she needs it and then if not then she can get rid of it um just a lot of different things still have a relative coming to pick this up so that's why that's there uh, and then one thing we did was get out all holiday mugs. These are gonna be stored with the Christmas stuff and little things she didn't wanna get rid of, I brought up to her, like, instead of keeping them in that cabinet, why don't we just use them as Christmas ornaments instead? So we're gonna move all of this stuff to the Christmas box. I'll do that tomorrow. We did move one of their favorite lamps they've had the entire time I've been alive. Uh, we moved it in here and got off the shelf in the depression room. This area is looking better, still a little too cluttered. We gotta get some of this stuff off. It wasn't supposed to be there. So looking good. And this will all be gone too. Uh, we're gonna hang a big tapestry here, but we do need to patch all of the walls. Tomorrow we have to like finally tackle the depression slash new craft room because it's actually exploded. We added more stuff to it, like furniture and stuff throughout the house as we've been shuffling things. So now we gotta go back and like Tame the bees. This is just a quick look at what this room looks like now. Added this desk from the room I've been staying in. This is gonna be hers. This is that rug from Matt Living that I brought in my suitcase. We're gonna use that in here. Uh, we have a light to install. You guys saw me also pack this. Pack this from Oregon, pack this from Oregon. This is gonna go in the stool, oh, in the chair over here, but we have all of her jewelry at the moment. And this is all like frames and decor we're gonna use soon. Also decor we've been collecting throughout this process. This is stuff that we're gonna use. And then we need a new shower curtain rod. So there's like that and some fresh flowers. So we're gonna use that at the very end. Our holiday box is kind of exploding. So we need to just kind of consolidate things. These are all empty. So it's not as bad as it actually looks. Uh, we brought this lamp in here from the living room. And then I guess we did bring a bike in here which is covered by all my clothing at the moment. And more papers that my mom needs to deal with tomorrow. So uh, it's not as bad. As a scene. That though, that is bad. We're gonna have to pack that all up. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video on Sunday. And subscribe if you aren't already. And be sure to like the video so that the algorithm picks it up and recommends more. Bye.